So here are the songs that you can sing. I remember the first semester I did this, this is at Penn State, and I didn't tell the students in advance what songs. And they didn't want to sing. They looked at me and they thought, no, 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 we're not, we're not going to like your music, man. But I, I don't play my music. I mean, the songs I play are songs that you would sing karaoke anyway. So rest assured, guys, you'll have full information. So what amount of money would it take to get you to sing for two minutes karaoke style in class right now? Now, two minutes is the, is the set time. If you're really good, we'll just let you continue, guys. If you're bad, we'll just call it stumps at two, two minutes and just move on with the class. We're going to auction off the right to sing. Okay, we're going to auction off the right to, to sing, guys. Now, I, I do have plenty of money, guys. The, uh, th these are all the smaller bills, guys. I've got some larger bills in the wallet that I hope I don't need, but uh, I will pay someone to sing. But we're going to have to wait a few minutes to work out who that is and how much they get. So if you would be, would be willing to sing karaoke for two minutes in the class right now, and you will actually be paid, this is real money, not monopoly money, stand up now. If you'd be willing to sing for $10,000, Stand up. Okay, guys, we got a, that's a that's a pretty healthy that's a pretty healthy uh, rise. Uh, alrighty, Our, uh, we're not quite at 4:30. I'm going to say 4:20. So let's start at 420. I'm going to lower the price in my best real estate auctioning voice. When you are no longer willing to sing, then you simply sit down. Okay, so we're going to start at 10,000. 9,000, 8,000, 7,000, 6,000, 5,000, 4,000, 3,000, 2,000. Okay, $2,000, guys. We jump very quickly there. I don't think, did we lose anyone? I don't think, no, none. Oh, there we go. Oh, there you go, 420. Okay. We'll lose you soon, though. 1,500, 1,500. Feeling pretty nervous here, guys. The more people that stand, the more I'm going to have to pay. Jeez, we haven't lost many. I reckon we only lost about 10 or 15. Uh, let's make that 405 at 500. 400, 300, 200, 100. Okay, now that's, that's, that's clear the audience a little bit. Good. Alrighty, guys. I'd say we're probably at around 80 now. Okay, we saw a big fall there. Let's go from 90 to 80 to 70 to 60 to 50. To 40, to 30, to 20. Okay, now we can probably almost count them. Two, five, six. I think we're about, at about 30. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. Okay. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 8 people standing at $10. Okay. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Uh, that's it. <laughs> Guy, hey, hey, don't look around, man. He's looking, looking for the friends that they, they can help you now, man. Yeah, it's a problem sitting in the front. You can't see what's going on behind you. I can tell you, you're one of, you're one of three people standing. At three dollars, we have three, two, one. Alrighty, guys, got three guys standing. Come, come to the stage. Come, come to front now. What's your name, man? I'm Kirk. Kirk, nice to meet you. Dalton. Dalton. Alrighty, guys. So about three dollars now, guys. We're going to lower it slowly. Let me know when you're... In fact, what preference, what preference do you have for the song? Probably Hello, it's the only one I remember. Hotline Bling. <laughs> hello, hotline, hotline Bling. Uh, I'll see. Don't Stop Bleeding. Okay, so we've got three different songs, which makes a duet highly unlikely here, guys. So we're at $3 here. Let me know. When you're unwilling, guys, just jump from the stage, okay? $3. Let's go down to two. One. 75 cents. 50 cents. A quarter. Still willing. Zero. Okay. Okay. We lost one. Okay. Look at our supply code. Wow. Okay, guys. So now we've got, guys, we've got two options here. Three options, actually. One, you fight. Two, we, we, we do the auction in reverse where you pay me to sing. Or three, you compromise and basically sing a duet together. What do you want, guys? What do you want to do? You want the duet? Or who wants to sing the most? Make him sing. No, no, no. I ain't singing, guys. I ain't singing, guys. I'm going to do a duet, okay, which song, guys? Because you had two different songs, Hotline Bling and the Journey song. Which one do you want to sing? Hotline Bling. Alrighty. Now, guys, can you work with one microphone? Uh, you're going to need it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Alrighty. Yeah. <laughs> 
15 years of teaching guys, it'll probably be the last. Alrighty guys, that was horrid. For me anyway, but great work there guys. Like the high pitched accent there as well, that sort of worked a little bit. Alrighty, good, good, good guys. Okay, let's tie this back in with what uh, we need to uh, take out of this guys in terms of supply and make sure that you leave today's class actually in a better state of mind than uh, what you were in probably two or three minutes ago. What do we have here? This is the supply curve that we saw in class. So it started at 10,000 and basically we dropped to $500 and there was no movement. Okay, so pretty much no one, no producer left the market. Because remember, the, this demonstration is about supply. Singing a song is providing a service. So the producers of goods and services represent the supply curve in the economy. So singers are part of the supply curve here. Okay, so basically between $10,000 and $500, there's, there's no movement. Once we go from 500 to 100, we start to see a lot of people left the market, and then there was a constant drop all the way down. And then what we found at the end though, at zero dollars, we had two people willing to sing. Now, a company would never be willing to sell its product for nothing. So that's a slight deviation from reality. Karaoke gets people excited, so occasionally they're willing to supply a service at zero price. In the real world, if you do that, you'll be out of business pretty soon, guys. So, if we go now from low price to high price, the supply curve message should be a little bit clearer. So if we started at zero and worked our way up, what we see here, guys, is that basically people start to enter the market. As the price goes up, more suppliers enter, which is good. So the curve, though, is not linear. There's a period of it where it's very flat, and then basically once we get above $100, if we head north, we can see that a lot more people are entering the market. Okay? So what we want to do is compare this supply curve to the one that we had to begin with. At $5, there's a handful of people in the market, which we had, which is good. As the price rises, people join the market to supply. A higher price, holding costs constant means more profit. Okay? So that's the important thing driving the market here. The positive slope is important because what it's showing us is that price and quantity supplied are positively related. Okay? That can only be one thing. And since I left the city, 